So David, verse 5, assembled all Israel from the Shahar River in Egypt to Lebo Hamath to bring the ark of God from Kareth Jerum. David and all Israel went to Bala of Judah, Kareth Jerum, to bring up from there the ark of, the, of God the Lord, who is enthroned between the cherubim, the ark that is called by the name. They moved the ark of God from Abinadab's house on a new cart with Uzzah, and Ohio guiding it. David and all the Israelites were celebrating with all their might before God, with songs and with harps, lyres, timbrels, cymbals, and trumpets. When they came to the threshing floor of Gideon, Uzzah reached out his hand to steady the ark because the oxen stumbled. The Lord's anger burned against Uzzah, and he struck him down because he had put his hand on the ark. So he died there before God. So lesson two, always follow the instructions. Always follow the instructions. They study men, you know, <laughs> Christmas time or, or when men buy stuff. You know how we get instruction books. Most men, phew, we don't need those. There's two reasons why men don't like instruction books. Number one, we're too busy. We're in a rush. That's just going to slow us down. And sometimes it's, Ah, it is silly, some of the... But number two, the main reason we don't do it is because we already know how to put together that 200-piece lawnmower, okay? We already know. Until it, <laughs> until it doesn't work and we have extra piece parts left over at the end. Read the instructions because sometimes if you don't read the instructions, it can be kind of life and death. I was thinking about uh, an electric panel. How many here, you've never worked with electricity? Okay. So if I gave you a screwdriver and said, hey, could you just remove some of those breakers in there and replace them? Um, you probably know what you should do. You're a typical man. You can figure it out. Do you think it would be good to stick your screwdriver in there randomly? <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I've been shocked by, you know, an outlet, a light. I've been shocked. But when you get shocked by this panel, it's like a thousand outlets, okay? <laughs> and uh, we call it electrocution. You, you drop dead. And it's, it's because you didn't follow the instructions, like, stay away. And, oh, well, I'll get back to... You need to follow the instructions. You want to know how to have a good marriage? Follow the instructions. You want to know how to raise a ki your kids? Follow the instructions. You want to know how to be a good employee, a good boss? Follow the instructions. You want to know how God can bless your finances? Follow the instructions. You want to know how to deal with illness and sickness in your life? Follow the instructions. Proverbs 8.33, the Lord says, listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not disregard it. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, every day being in the word of God, waiting at my doorway for the Lord to appear to you in his word. For those who find me, find life. And receive favor from the Lord. But those who fail to find me, those who fail to read the instructions, harm themselves. All who hate me love death. Whoa. Follow the instructions. So come with me to chapter 15 of 1 Chronicles. Chapter 15. Verse 2, then David said, no one but the Levites, that's the spiritual people, that's the priests, that's the believers. No one but the Levites may carry the ark of God because the Lord chose them to carry the ark of the Lord and a minister before him forever. That's talking about Christians. Jesus Christ is only carried by Christians. We're the only ones authorized to bring Jesus to the world. 
David, verse 3, assembled all Israel in Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord to the place he had prepared for it. He called together the descendants of Aaron and the Levites. And he got the whole list. Verse 11, then David summoned Zadok and Abathar the priests and Ariel, Joel, okay, all these names. Uh, Verse 12, he said to them, you are the heads of the Levitical families. You and your fellow Levites are to consecrate yourselves and bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place I've prepared for it. It was because you, the Levites, did not bring it up the first time that the Lord our God broke out in anger against us. We did not inquire of him about how to do it in the prescribed way. So the priests and Levites consecrated themselves in order to bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel. And the Levites carried the ark of God with the poles on their what? On their shoulders as Moses had commanded in accordance with the word of the Lord. So they were bringing the ark of God to Jerusalem on a cart guided by oxen. We think they got that idea because the ark was with the Philistines. Remember the ark in 1 Samuel got captured by the Philistines and then God brought judgment on the Philistines. They put the ark on a cart and sent it back to Israel. And so the ark came back to Israel and it stopped. And so instead of reading the scriptures... It was like, where are the people who read the Bible? But then I know there are ministers to this very day that preach in churches that obviously don't read the scriptures. So they, David gets a new ark with oxen. But God, some theorize that God says, it is not animals that I have commissioned to take me out into the world. I didn't ask animals to bring the gospel. I asked my servants, my Levites, the believers, and I asked you to carry me on your shoulders to, to as you're living your life, we're carrying Jesus on our shoulders. He, we're making him big. We're making him Lord and master. That's who carries the presence of the Lord into the world. It's us as believers on our shoulders lifting Jesus high. Numbers 4.15, if they had read the instructions, they would have known that they shouldn't touch the ark and to carry it with the poles on the shoulders. And it also warned Uzzah that... You shouldn't touch the holy things. This is just one verse, but you shouldn't touch the ark or you would drop dead. 